Okay, level three. There we go. Oh my god, hello. Welcome back to Super Mario Star Road. I'm Majora Zora, and today we are heading into... Piranha Plant Pond, with probably the most well-known and iconic music of the game. The Forest Maze of Super Mario RPG, a game I have never played, but that is besides the point. We're gonna move on because I've played this game a million times and that's fine. That's all I need to worry about right now. I might do a blind LP, actually, of uh, Super Mario RPG in the future, but not right now. But I don't know why, but I'm going for the 100 coins. Not really, because I don't know. But I don't know. I was. I always do that. I just start a level and was like, I'm going to go for the 100 coins, but I'm not going to do that. Because, uh, what I explained in the last episode. So we're just going to go for uh, this star now, which isn't a hard star. It's actually one of the easier stars in the game, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, look at that, I fell. Uh, it's not too bad, though. Okay, camera, work with me. Oh, no. Don't fall off, Mario. That's not what you're allowed to do. We've been over this. Actually, we haven't, but now we're going over it. Don't fall off. But hey, look, star. That's 20. Which means that we have two out of 13 stars in the game. Two 13th. Because there's 130 stars in this game, 121 regular stars, I believe, and then 9 star replicas. Also, where am I going? I don't know. I'm going to head back into that same level, because why not? But yeah, Piranha Plant Pond, fun level, great music, the flood cave and stuff. Hey look, there's the flooded cave and stuff. We're heading in there, because that's what we're supposed to do. Also, hello, Mr. Piranha Plant. It's nice to see you. Not really. Let's not get hit by the fire. And push this block! Push it! Fire go away! So the fire's not too hard to dodge, but it's just a nuisance because you're trying to push a block and it takes a while. Ugh. Come on! Mario, you're so slow at block pushing! Fire, you're so bad at aiming and speed and stuff. Well, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna push it a bit this way before I jump because I fail this jump sometimes. It's not fun, but it's not a hard jump, actually. I just suck. But I made it! And star! Yeah, that's fun. Hey look, get that! That's the wrong words, it's here we go, but whatever! I got it! That's cool, that's all I care about, flood it game! It's great! Time to move back into this level! Whoa! And eight coins of the run, red pond. Okay, so I guess we are going for the hundred coins this time, even though you haven't really seen the level, which, whatever. We're all gonna grip them, because this is a regular coin, and this is a red coin down here. <laughs> One. Uh, see, the water can be, like I said before, the water can be annoying. No, get out of the water, Mario! This is why I don't like the water in this game. The only reason. Get out of the Oh my god, Mario. Oh my god, there's a fence. Oh, the fence is easy. Good. Good enough. But now you know why I dislike the water in this game, which I have mentioned in episode one. Hey, look at that. I got coins. Cool. Pipe! Because in pipe, we get another area which you actually don't need the pipe to get to, but it's a shortcut. Shortcuts are great. Red coin right here. That's four. And now if we continue down this way, we can kill this Goomba. And get the coin. And the Goomba kill coin. And Goomba kill coin. And up here is another red coin, so we're going to grab that very easily, actually. I usually have troubles with that coin. We're not going to complain. That's not something we're good at, is complaining. Hey look, a blue coin switch. Those are useful. Let's break it. By butt stomping next to it. But cool. Ugh! Coins! Everywhere! Coins all the time, all every day and stuff. Yay. Now, the only reason I'm not speeding up this is because I'm getting a lot of coins at once, so it's not really much to talk about. And then there's something else I want to do that's not coin right now, because I'm over here anyway. I'm going to need it for, I think, the next mission. Could be wrong, but I think it's the next mission. Also, look, more coins. Ha. Ah. Yay. Coins are great. When you kill piranha plants, you steal money. That's actually teaching kids that if you go out and mow people's lawns, you get money. Very well played, Skeelix slash Nintendo. Actually, it was Nintendo, because that was their idea. But, uh, very well played Skeelix, too, even though you didn't think of it that way, I don't think. But you may have. Ready for blast off? Go hop in the cannon when you are ready. I can do that.
Hey, look. 100 coin star. Right there. Waiting for me to ground pound and pick it up. Yay. <laughs> now we have 104 coins, because that's how that works. And the great part about this is now we also have the red coin star, which appears right next to me, which means that's all the time I needed. Yay. And star, hello. Also, piranha plant. Oh, wow, I just appeared the star. Backwards long jump. Grab the star. So I would have had 111 coins, plus there was 8 around that tree there, but you know, I don't need it. Got the 100 coins and the 8 red coins, so that's it for that. I mean, if we head back into this level now, we can grab the shoot to the tower tile. Yes, I was right. We do need the cannon for this level. Haha. <laughs> or the star of the next mission, whatever you want to call it. Huh. You saw that it was over here. Okay, don't fall, Mario. Don't take time, Mario. Just go. So this is a kind of tricky shot that I could never get on my first try, but now I know the lineup for it. You aim it so that the uh, reticle is to the left side of this building, and then you make it so that you cannot see the building, but you can see the star and you shoot. Yeah. Locks you right there. You're on it. Now if you get right here, oh my god, side flip, wall jump, backwards stuff, and star! Yeah! So, I've gotten that on my first try every time since I've learned that little trick, so if you guys play this game, use that trick. It's very useful, it's very helpful, it's very happy, and it's very lucky, and also, it's time to get the Underwater Metal Dash Star. Which is a cool name for a star, Underwater Metal. And to get that, we have to grab the metal cap, because that makes sense, and we saw a purple switch over when I was pulling the speed up for this red coin down here. Ooh, the last star. Well, the star before last, but whatever. Purple switch. And now we can just walk up here. The level design in this game is a lot more memorable for me than Mario 64. And that's saying something, because that was a very iconic game. But I actually really enjoyed this game. Oh, 3D space, where are you? Oh my god, don't kill me, thanks. And hey look, star, 25. I have a lot of stars in the first three episodes. That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't think I'd be doing it this fast. The game's gonna be over before I know it. Ten parts, let's go? No, I don't think it's gonna be that. But hey look. One more star left in course three already, the Owl's Dinner Time. This one is kind of fun. And by that I mean not really, but it's better than the Cage Star in Mario 64, which I never use the Owl for anymore, because it's a lot harder than the way I got. I don't know why I did a dive, I meant the lung dump, but whatever. Uh, or a skid, whatever it's called. I don't know. Uh, where is the Owl? No, it's on the other side. Oh, damn it. Ah, uh, where's the pipe? Pipe! Where are you? You're over here, right? Yay! And now, see this tree right here next to the one with the coins? Ow! Grab it. Aw, uh, I try to grab it in midair all the time, but I don't think I've ever gotten it. I don't think it's possible because it's going to the top, but whatever. So, this one's a lot easier than the owl's uh, cage star in Mario 64. Oh my god, glitch in the bottom left corner. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. That's okay because we can move on and just forget it exists. Uh, this takes too long. I will go faster. I will go faster. If I say it in a haunting voice, maybe you'll listen. But look, star. That's the end of course number three already. So I feel like I'm 100%ing a level every episode, but that's not gonna happen in the uh, like later levels. It's just that these are pretty easy. So uh, now we can like we have a lot of time left, and I believe that's it. Yeah, look. We 100% of the first three levels, and we can head into a level, uh, oh my god, we're gonna wall jump into things. Cool. We can head into the next level, which is level four, the Chuckya Harbor, and we're also gonna get a cheap star right now, because it's easy, because you just go up here, and hey look, find the highest pole, except we're not getting that, because we up here and here, and hey look, star. <laughs> so easy, but you know, whatever, I guess it was clever because, you know, you're like, where do I get it? How do I get in there if you're actually in the level? I never had that problem because I'm like, huh, secret, and I was thinking it was one of those like secrets like in uh, that one level, like Jolly Roger Bay. Uh, what was this one called? Uh, climb to the highest pole, right, so uh, we're going to be doing that. That's actually over this way. I don't know why I was going that way. I was just killing Goombas because 100 coins, but I'm not getting it. Kill you! Yay! So, as you saw, Piranha Plant Pond was like... Actually, I don't have to go up the wall jump up there. I'm just gonna head out this way. Uh, just to show the level off a bit more. I showed you the wall jump before. That's good enough. Uh, I will probably do it again, but I don't need to right now. Um, shy guy, I don't like you. 
Uh, climbing, Mario, you're so slow at climbing, but then again, you're ten times faster than me in real life, so I can't complain. But hey, look, there's a shadow. What is that shadow? Well, this is the highest pole, so I guess that means if we climb it all the way, we will get star! Haha! <laughs> so, I have a lot of time left uh, in this episode, and I've already 100% of the level, so... I don't know, maybe I'll 100% this one too, maybe I'll get close, or maybe I'll start off the next episode with 100 coins or something and just do every star except that swim to the flooded cage. Oh, this one takes a while. Ugh, I don't like this star. The only reason I don't like this star is because you gotta climb on the thing. I'll show you, you'll, you'll understand. But it just takes too long, I'll speed it up for you guys, because just the climbing is so unbearable. If I don't like it, you guys won't. But it's not hard at all. I'm like, get off the Mario! Thanks. See, you just grab onto this. Oh my god, you do it wrong. Cool. Grab it, and then you just climb like this. All the way. And it's very easy. But it's also very long. And by very long, I mean it's pretty much done now. So I guess I'm not speeding it up. It's right there, but whatever. I just find that it gets way too long, and I feel bored. But, hey look. It's the block. And they look, it's a star. Stars are in blocks. Stars are given to Mario. Walls are shown instead of Mario with the star. Everything is great. And hey look, we already got swimming to the flooded cage. That's cool. Let's head into this level again. And the underwater maze. This one's really easy and it's not really a maze, but because your breathing is like underwater, it's not possible. It's a bit different in that it's not a long maze, and if you know where you're going, it's great, but you can die very easily in it if you don't know what you're doing. So what you do is you just come down here and just head straight and then turn right after going down. And hey look, that thing. And then you turn left, and look, star. <laughs> That's 30 already! 30 stars! That's cool. We're getting all the stars in this episode. All the stars in the world! They all belong to me! Hey look. You are having trouble finding a power star. Remember to select the right star in the course menu. Can do. And break into the building. I like the star. And then after that, it's just the red coins. So, yeah, I'm going to 100% this level, too. Two levels in one episode. Cool. That's great. <laughs> Doing great with that. Oh, my God, Chuck, yeah. Stop. Pretty proper grape. Whatever you're called. Don't care. Don't even know. I don't care. It's not a big deal. Ah, uh, don't. Just jump up there, Mario. Jump up there, Mario! I said thank you before because I thought you'd do it, but you didn't. There we go. Oh, I talked to the sign by accident when I tried to jump. This window looks fairly damaged. I saw a kick might be enough to finish the job. Yeah, I did it earlier. See, punching doesn't work, but kicking does. And then look! Warps! Oh! Now I'm up here. Shy Guy flying. Thank you for riding with Shy Guy Airlays. Airlays? Yes. Airlays chips. That's a thing. I was thinking airways and airlines, and it came out as air lays. So now it's air lays chips. Yes, potato chips of Shy Guy. Shy Guy brand potato chips. That's how that works. But hey, look. 100 coins already. That's gonna be fun on a bun. Because I am apparently Bender from Futurama. I'm gonna be fun on a bun. Bite my shiny metal ass. I will do no such thing that is very inappropriate. Shy Guy, what is wrong with you? Just die. Oh my god, I have to go all the way around now. It's all your fault, Shy Guy. It's all your fault. Nothing will ever be the same again. Hello, Purple Grief. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Time to die. Welcome to Funeral. Hey, look. Shadows. But we already got the star. What could it be? It could be nothing else but a red coin. And look, a Goomba. Die. Yes. Now to go and take my revenge on said Shy Guy in a sec. Shy Guy! Stop breathing! I did not give you permission to float away from me. Come back here and stand your ground while I kill you with my butt. Thanks. And... there we go. Now this... now that Shy Guy's gone, he won't be a hassle, so I can get these blue coins. Now, normally I just went and jumped for all those, but it's actually easy, because there's only three, or four rather. And look, got them all. Cool, already at 50 coins. That's great. Now, at the top of this, there's another red coin, as you may have seen when we got this first star, well, second, I guess, but first actual star of the mission, uh, climbing the highest pole. 
yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But look, more coins. And then Goombas kills the coin such. But yeah, uh, back to uh, stuff that is coin searching. There's fun reasons and stuff. Mario, why aren't you swimming? Invisible walls go- Mario? I, I better not be stuck. Mario? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what was happening. But that's alright. This look going- Yay. <laughs> um, that was fun. And now we have 86, so we're almost at the 100 coin star. And I know there's three red coins left? Really? I thought there was only one, but okay. Uh, where are the other two? I thought I- only left one unscathed, but I guess I left them all unscathed. So now it is time to look. Oh, there's one that I didn't know about. Hey, cool. <laughs> the other one I thought is up here, so I'll get that right quick, and we can move on and forget that it ever existed, because I'm just gonna get it as well as the hundred coins right now. The coin, and then actually now I can get the hundred coins and the uh, red coins at the same time. Just don't pick up any more coins. Where is that red coin? Ugh. We will look for it. Oh, there it is! I see it! It's right down here. Cool. Found the dock. Hello, dock. Hello, star of a hundred coins. It is nice to see you! Hello, star of red coins! It is nice to see you, too! And didn't we get the hundred coin star? And we have one star left to a hundred percent Chuck your Harbor. And then we can move on to uh, Gloomy Garden, which is not my least favorite level in the game, actually. But I thought it was for a long time. But my least favorite level in the game is Course 12. You will find out what that is when we get there. But, uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Like a favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe if you like it that much. And we will see you in episode 4 of Super Mario Star Road. Peace!